I put this uh, video together just to give you a little insight into the uh, the problems you can get um, with a Worcester R30HE boiler, gas boiler, namely with the EA code. Now, working on gas boilers in the United Kingdom, you need to be gas safe registered. Uh, secondly, you will have to perform a flu gas analysis after the job's complete to make sure the air gas ratios are correct. So that's the first thing, guys. Okay, so um, it's only really for to give you an insight into into what could possibly go wrong with your boiler. Right, this is our uh, Worcester boiler that's uh, giving us the problems. Okay, that notorious EA fault. Um, and we're going to cover a couple of the very basic ones. It doesn't cover all of them, um, but it's going to cover, I think, uh, the basic. Top left, we've got the fan. To the right and slightly lower, we've got the two spark electrodes, uh, followed by the, the ionizer uh, probe. Below that, you've got the uh, combustion cover plate. These are all going to be required to be removed uh, to undertake this job. Okay, so as you can see, uh, left-hand side we've got the ionizer. Uh, this more resembles a sewing needle than an ionizer. To the right you've got the two electrodes. Um, the far right one, uh, a little bit burnt. Okay, comparing the old with new, um, you can see pretty clearly um, what it should look like. Fit the viewing window first, followed by the uh, gasket followed by the uh, steel plate. Now then, remove the front combustion cover and uh, that will expose the heat exchanger. And as you can see here, we have a blocked heat exchanger. This will uh, basically require cleaning with a special tool, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the tool we use for doing the job. Uh, I'm going to show a little video after this just to show how that should be used. Okay, so here we are uh, in cleaning in the cleaning process of the seat exchanger. Um, this is mainly down to bad service and all this build up. Um, it should be done sort of at least every couple of years uh, to clean these um, these fins, but this has obviously never been done. Um, and is you know the main culprit for this lady getting this EA problem. So a good clean, take your time over doing it, and um, it will pay dividends. As I say, the uh, proof in the pudding is in the eating. So let's turn it on. What will happen now is the fan will start, the ignition sequence will start going, um, and the boiler should light. And I'll say one thing, it always helps to have gas going to the boiler. So I think I, um, we'll go down a little bit lower, turn the gas tap on. There we go, gas is now on. And uh, what will happen now is the boiler will go through its second attempt at firing up, and uh, then we should have uh, a lovely blue flame. Problems with these uh, EA codes are numerous. Um, there's an awful lot of them. I'm only describing two of what I think are the very, very basics um, that could possibly go wrong. But there are, as I say, numerous others that could uh, could create this fault. Okay, as you see, the, uh, the boiler's now running merrily. And I think providing this lady has her boiler serviced on a regular basis by a proper engineer uh, this boiler should give years and years of good service. Hope you enjoyed the video.